Hi, this is my winter review of the Denku EO6 Fat Bike. Just a reminder from my other videos, this is a full carbon frame with full carbon rims. It also has a 1000 watt M620 Bafang motor with a thumb throttle and 48 volt battery. It has five power settings and a torque sensor. I have ridden three seasons on it and put 1500 kilometers before the winter and put on another 500 kilometers during the winter. The good aspects of the bike, it's a very powerful bike and very fun in the trails. Easy to commute with and a good all around bike. A very, very good customer service. I have no complaints about their service. Although my ownership of this bike has not been perfect. There were cracks in both my front and back rim on the inside where the inner tube lies. The probable reason for this is running too low tire pressure in ruddy, rocky trails. I recommend running the tire pressure over 15 PSI to avoid this problem. I have also broken the frame below the seat post. I don't know what caused this. I usually run pretty quick through the trails, but I don't jump it. When I took the bike apart, it looked pretty clean inside. Didn't look like there was any voids or tenting. Both issues were resolved very quickly by Dengfu with just a few emails and pictures of the failures. When they replaced the rims, I put new Chad Yang Big Daddy 4 inch tires on them and then running them without tubes. When next winter arrives, I plan to upgrade the tires to studded tires. The Big Daddy tires would run really good in cold, crisp conditions, but uh, when I run into ice, they're very slippery. I also found running tubeless with the Big Daddy tires, they were a lot more grippier on the dirt than the regular tires and also turned a little easier. The power of the bike will push you through a lot of deep snow, but be mindful of your range. And also the cooler it gets, the less range you'll have. And also in cold weather, when your power levels get below 50% and you use your throttle, the batteries sag and the bike will go into safety mode. To reset this, you have to stop riding your bike and let the battery recover a little bit. In the summer, I typically get 40 kilometers not using the throttle and on paved roads and at a power level of two. At minus 15 degrees Celsius, I got as low as 15 kilometers of range not being able to really use 50% of the power available. It was a really fun bike to go through the trails at speed in the winter time and snow. Another bonus of winter riding, the bike doesn't get dirty. All you have to do is keep it lubricated. I don't think I've fallen off a bike as much as I have this winter. Luckily the snow is soft. If you have any questions, I usually respond. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.